Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are fine. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, Namaskar and welcome. First of all, I want to inform you guys that this video is only for Windows users. In this video, I am going to show you how to play your favorite PSP games on your PC on your laptop. So without wasting our time, let's begin. Now watch the video carefully. Firstly, download the PP SSPP emulator. You can download it from the link given in description box below. You can download it from link 1 which is the official website of the TPSSP emulator or you can download it from the link 2 Google Drive. Now open your browser and type double P -S -S -P -T -T. Open your browser. Go to the Google. Type PP -S -S -T -T. Click on the very first link, wait for the page to be loaded, scroll down to the windows version. This site usually provides two versions of the PPSP emulator. One is the regular, the other is the gold version, which you have to buy. I am gonna download the regular version. For this tutorial video, click on download. Since I have already downloaded it, I am not gonna download it again. Minimize browser. As you can see, PPSS PPM Win file is there. Extract is using WinRAR software. If you don't have WinRAR, you can also download it from the link in the description below. Double click. Extract it to the desktop or whether you want to extract it. I am going to extract it to the desktop. Yes to all. Wait for it to be extracted. Since it has been extracted, as you can see the PPSSPP folder. Open it. As you can see, there are two versions of PPSSP emulator. One is PPSSP Windows 64 and other is PPSSPP Windows. The PPSSPP Windows 64 is for 64 bit operating system users and the PPSSPP Windows is only for 32 bit operating system. In order to check whether your operating system is 64 bit or 32 bit, go to my computer or this PC. Click on computer, click on system properties. As you can see my system is 64 bit operating system. So I am gonna choose 64 bit file. Double click it, click on run. The emulator will open like this. I remind the window. Go to settings, go to graphic settings, set the backend to the direct CD9. This is for the use of hardware such as NVIDIA or Intel SD graphics. I have already done it. Enable frame skipping if you want to skip unnecessary frames or you can tick mark auto frame skip which will automatically skip unusual frame rates. Scroll down. Click mark full screen which will go to full screen then click this thing this usually reduces the tearing or lining effect from the wind game screen here is it is tick mark it leave others as it is and tick mark speed up switches to increase the game speed such as lazy texture catching up and Disable slower effect. Scroll down and set any profit filtering to 4x or either 8x. I am going to choose 4x. This is for the brightness and cleanliness of the texture loading. Scroll down. Scroll down to show FPS counters. Set FPS. Show FPS counter to FPS. This will show the FPS count during the gameplay 
Now we are done with the graphic settings. Now move to the audio settings. Tick mark down speed hack. And now we are done with the audio settings. Now let's move to the control. Click on control mapping. As you can see, there are some settings. Click on clear and assign the controls according to your gamepad or keyboard. So I am using keyboard or mouse. So I am going to assign to according to the keyboard. Once you are done with the settings, controls, click back. Now we need a PSP game file to run on the emulator. So follow the link in description or you can simply type free ROM on your browser and press enter. Firstly close the emulator. Open your browser. Go to Google. Click back save. Type free ROM. Click on the very first link. Go to PlayStation Portable section. Click on most popular. I'm gonna download Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Story. Wait for 15 or 13 seconds as you can see the site is saying. Since I have already downloaded it, I'm not gonna download it. Minimizing the browser. As you can see, there is a Grand Theft Auto zip file. Extract it. Double click it. I'm gonna extract it to the desktop. You can choose any location as per your comfort. Get to all. Wait for it to be expected. It will take few more seconds. While the file is accepting, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Once the site is done, close the window. As you can see, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories ISO file is there. Now open the emulator again. Click on run. In order to run the game, click on game, click on browse and choose the game from where you have extracted the game. I will have extracted to the desktop, click OK, choose the ROM, as you can see the game is run and it is working properly. You can also see the FPS count on the window, it is about 60. So thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, play safe and peace out. Thank you.